Hey guys, I'm back with Original Characters Episode 2. In this episode, I'm going to be drawing on my original characters, Lila and Shishi. Shishi is the cute little animal that sits on Lila's shoulder in this picture. Now, I don't really know what Shishi is actually supposed to be. I just thought, what well, would look quite cute? And I kind of just drew her. <laughs> I've had a couple of people tell me that Shishi looks a bit like a unicorn, but she doesn't even have a horn, so I don't really see how that could be. But I suppose if she did have a horn, she might look a bit like a unicorn. I do, however, think that her tail looks a bit like Charmander's from Pokemon. But it will end up being coloured in a different colour and it wasn't intentional. <laughs> Lila is my original character who owns a sweet shop which you might be able to tell from her apron and her surroundings. Also by the fact she's holding a massive lollipop in her hand. I did struggle a bit with the proportions of the hand and the arm and you may notice it might be a bit off but I did try my hardest and I guess it's only something I can improve on. Now the time that this video comes out I will actually be on holiday so just be aware that I probably won't be able to reply to any comments until I come back. If you thought Elfie was cute in episode 1 then you seriously need to look at Shishi because I think that Shishi is so adorable like oh my gosh <laughs> I think I may even make um, a little comic that features all the characters like companions slash spirit animals whatever the animals are supposed to be and I might do that while I'm away so if you guys think that's a good idea then let me know and I'll definitely do a video on the comic I make so when I do my backstory video um, Lila and Shishi will be covered in it and what I think is actually quite interesting is that Lila and Akira from episode 1 are actually best friends. Now you may have noticed that Akira looked very futuristic in the first episode so you may be wondering wait how come Lila doesn't look as futuristic? Well what's actually happened is Akira's time travelled from the future. So that's how she's in this time now, because Lila and Shishi are from our current time. Now what I thought was quite interesting was that when I looked up Shishi online to see if it had any um, definitions on Urban Dictionary, I found that Shishi has two meanings. It can either mean a synonym for anything upscale or the need to urinate. So. <laughs> I think I know which one I'd rather Shishi be a reference to, but I'm just gonna say that she was called Shishi with no meaning to the name or something, I don't know. But yeah, there are gonna be more original characters coming in future videos, so definitely look out for that. In my last few videos I've been doing something with a colouring called Hue Mixing. But I didn't really do that with this picture, you, you'll notice that every single bit I coloured in, I just shaded with a darker version of that colour. This is just because I didn't really have a lot of time to do this picture, but if I had more time I would have done a bit of hue mixing. I did do a little bit on the skin, I did add like a dark purple for highlights and stuff, not highlights, shadows. You'll notice that in the background I haven't used any line art. This is because I just wanted to colour it with Copics and coloured pencils, just to give it a softer look. This meant that the background would just be less bold and like in your face, whereas the foreground, which was the two characters, they would really stand out and it wouldn't take any attention away from those two characters. So that's why I chose to do that. I have got two more videos coming in the following weeks. Of course, every Friday at 12.30, that's when you can look out for my videos. 12.30 UK time, I don't really know what time that is elsewhere. But in the next two weeks, I've got Left Hand Challenge coming next Friday, and some fan art coming on the final Friday. And I can now reveal to you 
that that fan art is going to be Steven Universe fan art because I have been watching the Steven Universe non-stop. I love it so much. So you guys can definitely look out for that. It's only going to be a line art video for the Steven Universe picture, but there will be a colouring of it the following Wednesday after Friday the 1st of August. So definitely look out for that. Obviously when I'm back from holiday, as I mentioned in a previous video, I will be showing you my sketchbook which I will hopefully have filled up all the way and all the stuff I bought in America for art supplies in an art haul video. As always guys, thank you so much for watching and subscribing, I really do appreciate it and when I get back I can't wait to read all your lovely comments and reply to them. Look forward to talking to you next week, bye!